goes. Okay, she's gonna have to come with us now. Okay, Kai, we Stand gotta up. go with them, baby girl. Stand up. Okay, come over here. Where are those for? It's for you. Keep your hand, okay? Come over here, honey. I'm gonna come pick you up, okay? Oh, oh, I was this. Oh, I just saw you. Right. Come on, let's go. No, please, please, please. You can tell me what happened in the car, okay? I don't want to go to the police car. Shot me, your host Donna. Watch the young girl that you see there is Kaya Rowley. This is at Orlando Charter School. The officer that you're gonna see, his name is Officer Dennis Turner. He was eventually fired because he violated company policy. Anybody under 12, they had to get a deputy chief permission. Now, this young girl, um, they, now, the school called the police on this young girl because they said she had a tantrum tantrum and she struck three uh, school workers. They charged her with misdemeanor battery. That's bananas. Also, check this, that um, the officer is claiming that the, um, the, the school workers wanted to press charges. They are denying that. They're denying that they wanted to press charges. After the person you see a film in that, that's the officer's body cam, the other officer that's with this officer. Um, his name is Sergio Ramos. He's not gonna face any discipline. Um, it's said that he called to his office and asked. But yo, get this, get this. The story is gonna read that Kia was processed at a juvenile facility and had to use a step stool for, for her mug shot. <laughs> This young girl had to take a mug shot. Kirkland told the uh, paper, State's Attorney Nyla said that the incident in her office intended to move forward with charges against Kia. What in the? All right, so the workers are gonna say, I refused uh, to knowingly play a role in any part of the school to prison pipeline at any age. However, you guys, um, I'm gonna play a clip of the officer later was bragging about had done this before. It's also allegedly that he abused his own son once upon a time. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to play the full clip. So the school is going to say, um, this. he wrote a police report. The, the workers, when he came back in, they were visibly upset. And they were asking him, is that necessary? Why did you just do that to the little girl? The cuffs wasn't even big enough. So he put a Z zip tied her hands. He traumatized this baby girl at six years old for the rest of her life she will be forever traumatized this officer should face more than just being fired this man should face charges himself i honestly believe that that little girl will never be the same i'm hoping the grandmother has a civil lawsuit against this police department because that my friend was in, insane. The, the worker's gonna ask the officer, are the restraints necessary? One employee asked. The officer said yes. Two women looked away from him. If she was bigger, she would have been wearing regular handcuffs is what the officer says. 
The employee appeared baffled. A child that young would be a straight, and although Turner provided some more stats, this dude started bragging. The youngest he arrested previously was seven, and he told them he had 6,000 arrests in nearly three decades of law, law enforcement. Now she has broken the record, Turner said. That's the officer. This man is bragging on his arrest. You cannot make this stuff up. This man is literally bragging on his arrest. Um, this is this is this is crazy. This particular story, I don't understand. What I hope the parents definitely have a lawsuit. They didn't mention anybody else but the grandmother, and she was processed at a juvenile facility. Um, you know. You gotta understand, and this is something else, man. These officers, I think that, uh, I don't understand why they had to call the police on this young girl in the first place. Police should have never been called. I don't know whether they was just trying to scare her and call the police and thought that the officer was gonna come and be gentle and kind. I think that's what happened, that they just was trying to scare the young girl. And they got a vigilante cop that wanted to play superhero and flex his newfound status as a cop even though he's been in three decades but y'all see how many innocent people go to jail because cops want to boast on their their and throw their weight around puff their chest out this coon probably got thousands of arrests he says he has six thousand to be exact this coon probably is running around and, and arrest, and I already know who he arrests, who mostly he arrests. And this is, this is why the public hates the police and has such a distrust and disconnect with the police that's supposed to protect and serve. Common sense will tell you this little girl screaming, traumatized, to let her go. Is there any more peaceful way to solve this problem? And he just continued on. Um, I'm gonna continue monitoring the story, see what happened to him. Um, I hope he faces charges himself. Anyway, make sure you guys like My Life in the Shy's uh, YouTube channel. Go to My Life in the Shy. Uh, go to YouTube. Go to My Life in the Shy. Keep sending me stories uh, to my personal page, to my other social media. Follow my Twitter page. Peace, peace.